good evening. Welcome to Music Scrap, the musical scrapper. Take two, of which I deleted. Take one. <laughs> Alrighty. So, I'm back. I tried to repurpose a binder. <clears throat> but the... It's all warped. My paper wouldn't stick right because, of course, I didn't use my glue stick. I tried to use wet glue, which didn't cover right. And, hold on, I need to catch my, oh, knocked over my <laughs> garbage can again. My famous trick to put my foot in the garbage can. Just a moment. Grab my glue stick here. All right. Whew, got it. Now I can do it the way I want. I'm going to repurpose that chipboard. Don't worry, I'm not throwing it away. No, I won't be. It's got nice paper on it. I'll just use it for smaller things. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Let me get my feet back up here. All right. So, I did find, I almost forgot I had this, heavyweight chipboard that a friend of mine got me. So, I am going to repurpose it, use it, and not the medium weight chipboard that I originally grabbed. Okay, now I am also going to, so 10 and a half by 11 and a half is my size. I need to cut through this. Hope this knife is sharp enough to do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to then I'm going to mount this. I'm leaving it on the chipboard that was already on. Then I'm going to mount it again on a piece of the heavy weight. Nah. Don't rewind conversation. Just carry on. Carry on. I think this is strong enough, but I don't think my Martha Stewart one is going to go through it either, but I can try. It's not sharp enough, this old dollar and crappy one. All right, let's see. I got it scored at least. Oops, so I still can't cut straight though, even when it's scored. Oops, there we go. Hi! Hi, Yovana! I'm good. Hi, Lisa! Welcome! Sorry for showing you the top of my head, but if I don't, I might cut off my finger or something. I'm sure you don't want to see that.
pretty sure that's something you don't want to see. Wow. This is very thick chipboard. I like. I think I need a new blade. See if this one has a sharper blade or not. Oh, except I can't make it go straight for the life of me, but this doesn't have to be pretty. Put it from the other side here. Alright, got through it enough to get it knocked off there. Alrighty. Now, like I said, I'm going to be Okay. Yvonne might have thought I was frozen because I was kind of out of the frame. Grunting and grumbling and groaning. more out. Huh? I'm trying to get my scissors in there to cut the cloth better. At least it's flat enough that I can cover it for the most part. There. Okay. Make it a mess. Make it a mess. Be fun because oh, I'm gonna try my cutter with my blade. Switch out my blades. Oh, good, good. So I need ten and a half by eleven and a half. No, ten and a quarter by eleven and a half. So I have to do it this way, eleven and a half. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on.
the back needs to be, oh, I almost forgot. The back needs to be an extra, okay. Let's do an inch and a half. Hmm. So, eleven and a half, right? Ten and a quarter, and I only have nine, ten, eleven. I only have eleven that way. It's not going to be long enough use unless I just put it on the normal way a binder goes on even though it has the D rings hmm well 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 what will I do I want it to do I want it to put it this way but it's not long enough. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm using my medium weight chipboard. Alrighty then. Problem solved. Ta-da! All right, so for the back, it needs to be 10 and a quarter plus one and a half, 11, 11 and three quarters. So I need to take off a quarter of an inch. So that'll be the back, a quarter of an inch this way. Sorry, Sherry and Vicki. Hi, Lynn, how are you? I'm glad you came. I thank you for your support, Felicia. <laughs> Gee. Uh. Yeah, but you know me, Felicia. I don't like to do anything the easy way. You know that by now. Goodness. Nothing. Nothing the easy way around. Not a thing. Okay, so that's that. And then high is 11 and a half. I guess I don't really need to put this up because I'm only taking a little bit of off. I can measure it the other way. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you don't want to know what I did for the last hour, Yovana. I, I did, I started. Okay, I'll show you. For those of you who came late, I took the binder apart, okay? I took all the plastic off the binder, took it all apart. Then I started covering it, but it's all bunching up on me because I didn't use glue stick, and it's all warped. The original binder was warped. I saved it from school. Stuff was stored on it when it was empty, so the chipboard warped, so I didn't like it. So I'm starting all over again with new chipboard. Okay, so eleven and a quarter by eleven and a half. So it goes up and down like this. 
and this is going to be the inside there. Okay, so that sits that way, so I don't get it mixed up. I probably still will, but oh well. And this one just needs to be ten and a quarter. Uh, sorry. The edge. Almost. Haha. <laughs> Did I leave that like that? All right, but I'm gonna cut off half inch, right? 11 and a half. Alright, so I'm going to put my good clay back in. Alright, so now I've got that. This wing, this will go on there. Right in the center. Whoops. Oh no, it's going on the back. What am I thinking? So it's not going on there. That's just for the binding. All right. And this is going in the center in the back. Like this. All right. So before I do any of that, this has to get all put together. I'm going to check this. guys closely enough at the binder before I took it apart. <laughs> and I don't think I have any more that open that way. Yeesh. I thought that this one had to be wider. Where is my other piece? Oh, why didn't you just measure, Jean? Da, da, da. Because I cut it off. All right, I cut it off. Oh, okay, so it's still just the same width. Trim some off here, that's all. Make sure I trim it off the right edge. Eleven and a half says to stay eleven and a half. So I have to take off another inch and three quarters. Oops, sorry about that.
Oh my goodness. Wow. Wait now, I have to go back here. Wow. Hi, Mitzi. Wow. Oh my gosh. Uh, Mitzi, I'm making a um, binder for my catalog and I took one apart. I was going to reuse the chipboard already in it, but it, it was all warped and messed up. So I'm just using my own. And a quarter. Here we go. There we go. La la. Voila. Now I'm right. Okay. Darn it. I just like a pattern. All right. Oh, it was almost a dead blade anyway. Yeah, I bet, uh, Yvonne. Oh, Mitzi, did it come in? Ha, 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 did it come in, Mitzi? Oh, no. Alright, so first of all, I'm covering, so I guess now, darn it, since I messed up that other one, hmm, I'll use this on the front still, but I will use hmm. what will I use on the back? just a plain. I'll just use plain chocolate on the back, I guess. Or I'll just use these. I'll keep that for another project. Okay. All right. So I just have to make sure I get it on here so that the main most of the words are upside right. All right. <clears throat> Here we go, starting again. I'm going to leave a little bit of that paper, the uh, cover open, since it's all one piece. I will be covering it with Tyvek.
the uh, or the the back side of the paper log tie back on it. So. I I hope not either. I'm not going to because I've got my trusty glue stick, and this paper's not all warped. So. I'll be good. No problem. So I'm going to take the backing off. And I don't cover all the way to the spine because I want my spine piece to actually have some chipboard to hang on to, not just the paper. That was a Kathy order trick that I tried and really liked. Or that's who I saw do it. I don't know if anyone else does it, so don't email me. Okay. So this is the way it's going to go. Alright, so this is going to be the top. So, this is because this is the back part. So... This strip goes on the bottom. All right, glue stick. So I'm going to turn these both over. Why didn't I go to the edge? Um, because I'm going to use the binding paper. I want it to, when it comes around, I want it to actually have chipboard to grab onto and not just paper. Yes. Yes, miss, that's what I am doing, Yavana. And no rounded corners on this one, just because I'm too lazy. And I don't know. I'm not going to rip this one either. Now, I was going to trim that off, but I might leave that much there. It's kind of like that. But there's that much there. And that. So that's the left side. I like that. And then just put, yeah. I do. I like it. So I don't think I'm going to trim it off after all. Alrighty. Alright, I'm going to have to come over with that paper now anyway because I messed up. I shouldn't have trimmed that down like that. Okay, that's okay. I'll just trim it off. Like I should have anyway. Okay. 
Just, um, Yvonne, it, there's less chance that the paper will peel off, you know, the other paper. It just makes it more, more secure, I think. Yeah, it's glued down, Felicia. <laughs> Not a problem. Perfection. Sorry to stress you out so much uh, there, Miss Felicia. <laughs> oh, dear. Dana? I didn't see her yesterday. I don't know if I've seen her on the weekend at all. Yeah, only way, only if you're using like a different, if you're using all one piece, so then you can go right around. But I always use a different uh, paper on my binding, almost always. Answer questions. If I don't see them, just write in caps so that I can see your question. Alrighty. All right, Marie. Thank you for dropping in. See you later. I have two bone folders because one's always running away on me. Always missing one of them. That's why I have one in my, a third one in my Martha Stewart scoreboard just for that reason. I have to put a little glue right here because there's no... It's not going to stick. There we go. It's just enough to turn up <laughs> this 12 by 12 paper. Just enough. Oh, yeah, I could have Eileen. And this paper is breaking, so that's very annoying. I'm going to put a little, no, I don't want to use this glue along the edge. This glue doesn't dry completely. Um, I think I'm going to be putting um, tape around all the edges because this front edge, strangely enough, the edge that had more to flip turn over is broken on me. It's really strange. You would think it'd be the edge that has less to fold over that would break. But thank goodness for that color chart because it gives me enough to wrap here. And I'll just put my inside paper all the way down to the edge. That's all. Okay. And we'll do the front. I get this the right way. Do 
11 and a half. Right. So it goes up and down this way. Ah, uh, yeah, distressing. Mm-hmm. That's true. I can ink over it. Oops. I went all the way. Didn't mean to. Oh, well. It'll get used. Tape off. Hi, Susan. Oh, no. Sharon, I would love a cup of black, please. All right. Blue stick. I'm using Elmer's all purpose. And someone just sent me a tweet. Oops. Sorry, I'm going to try and line this up a little better here. Okay, there we go. Vicky, 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 I am making a binder for all, uh, cataloging my stamps 
my die cuts and my punches. So I ripped apart a binder, then decided not to use the, uh, only to use the rings and use new, uh, out of my half inch. All right, I've got three eighths. Okay. Hi, Dar. Welcome, welcome. thought of that and then I thought ah, I need something to do on my stream so you know here goes There's the front, there's the back. And on the binding, I'm going to use this cool This is basil, textured cardstock. I don't know if you can see the texture in it or not. It's going all kind of fuzzy. Hey, why not, Yoa? Why not? Start that way, if you started before, you have a huge collection your cataloging will be much easier. You can just add to it as you buy stuff or get stuff. Me, Bear D, wait a minute. Ah, snap, Darcy. <laughs> okay. All right, so now I need to measure. Oops, sorry about the avalanche there. The earthquake. Uh. So now I need to measure how wide this is going to have to be. Oops. Alright, 
So this is three and a half inches. So I want it four and three quarters inches. Because this is only 12, yeah, okay, I'm going to add, I'm going to kind of section it, section it together, and then I'll cover the join. So four and three quarters. <clears throat> now it has to be more than 12. So I'm actually going to... Enjoy. I'm going to be putting tie back on the back of it anyway. This is color core, so it's gonna. Um, so four and three quarters by I'll be able to hide it so. I'm just going to add two inches by four and three quarters. Okay. So I'm just going to add that to the length and my tie back envelope. Go over far enough. Yes, they are, Darcy. Cool. Yes, I remember seeing the link, Darcy, but at the time I didn't have time to go see it, so I must go to your blog and have a look. All right. So it only has to be four and a half. I was make it a little narrower. Yeah, let's do it this way. Four and a half. All right, so one side has more texture than the other, and I want the textured side on the outside, so, and I want this to be really attached well, so I'm going to use my wide score tape.
All right, so this will ensure that my Tyvek becomes one with the paper. Hey, cutting down plastic. So Lynn, is your organizing all done? Oops, beware, it is very sticky. the second part. Hold on. That's okay. <clears throat> Still got a little wrinkle. Oh well. down the other way. It already has tacky stuff on it. Didn't, oh, sewing room. Oh my goodness. Oh no, that didn't work either. Yeesh. That left even a bigger. Darn it. All right, here I go again. Now I pulled that all off. Don't you worry. Okay. Okay, so now, next, it is going to go down on this part.
Okay, so. <coughs> I think I'm just going to put it on here first. Measured it so it would go about half. Oops. All right, so I'm going to put it on here first. Sorry, I check chat. Welcome back, Ivana. Yes, cardstock graph, Meredy. Sorry, I just saw that. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to put it down towards the bottom, the graph part. It won't be as noticeable, but, but I'll just put a... Um, a band of paper or something right over that anyway so it won't be noticeable okay now before I stick this down I want it to be folded so that it folds and moves with the spine going to break the paper, but the Tyvex underneath for security, which is fine. All right. Okie dokie. And I want it to be able to lie flat too, which is what causes the problem. Because that causes a big, huge buckle. Hold on. I'm changing it around. I forgot. I'm doing something. Hold on, guys. Hold your breath. Thank goodness this tie back. It comes off easy. I didn't. I forgot what I was doing. This only works with boxes. Don't leave your pieces together. It only works on boxes. Anyway, I knew that, but whatever. Thank goodness I only have a thin layer to cut through here. It only works in boxes to leave your piece together. It won't work when you have to open and close it. So you have to leave space. There. Okay. No problem. Fixed. I knew that too, so I don't know what I was thinking. My head's not clear today. mess it up I left I just left my spine on but it has to be separate that's all because I need to leave a space between my front and my back so the book opens properly that's all no problem I just need my ruler so it lines up straight put my ruler along the bottom here give myself whoops About an eighth of an inch, just a little over an eighth of an inch. Line it up. There we go. There we go. Now I've got it. No issue now. No issue at all. All right. And I don't know. I think this is going to be the end of my half inch. It is the end. 
so I'm going to switch to my quarter inch. <laughs> Still talking about. How are those markers anyway, Eileen? Hmm. I hope they're good enough worth the two sets. And it's very crooked. So I'm going to straighten it out. It'll be crooked on the back, but I'm going to straighten it out so that it's <coughs> sort of straight on the front, which it won't be straight, but it'll be faux straight. It'll look straight. Hold the roller, roller still. Oh, I know. I'm supposed to use my metal one, but then I can't see to line it up right. Oh, sure, that didn't even go through. All right, let's try my Martha Stewart one. See if it'll go through the... I forgot, I have rows of Tyvek and paper. Hold on. All right, I got it. I got it. Mm -hmm. All right, so score tape is on. Backing is coming off.
blows the back I messed up. <clears throat> Alrighty. So now we just need to roll up. Uh oh. Mail. <laughs> that was mail. Close my mail program. Oh, sorry, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. Sorry. I asked the question earlier and then I was in the middle of something and was didn't look at the chat. Has anyone heard from Dana the last couple days? I haven't seen her around. I hope so. Okay. My hands are going nowhere near Rick dies. Just saying. Gloves or not. That stuff doesn't come off. I am too clumsy also. All my clothes would be the same color if I were multicolored. If I was trying to use that stuff. The join ended up right on the... Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, that's just really broke. Oh, well, that's all right. I'll cover it, too. The other end didn't break at all. That's really strange. Okay. A little glue here. See how badly it broke there? Hi, Margo. Welcome. Oh! I am making a binder for a catalog for my dies and punches and my stamps. Ripped one apart and I'm only using the rings from it because the chipboard ended up being quite warped. So I just cut my own chipboard. And I'm just trying to do a little paper repair here. I'll put uh, just strips of something. Yeah. Oh, thank you. It is Kaiser Craft. All right. So that's the top. Okay. It's the top that kind of. Oh, the bottom did tear a little. I just didn't notice it. That's okay. I'm going to put a piece of paper over it. All right. So now I have to kind of hide my join there where I joined my paper together so I'm actually going to turn that into a 
chance to decorate the spine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these border papers and I'm going to cut a couple borders down. Since I don't have my wire anymore, I have to just line it up with the mark. Mm, pretty well. I need to take another smidging off. that by a smidgen too. Alright. So, I'm going to cut Four and three quarters, four and three quarters, because that's how. Might cut it a little more than four and three quarters just so to make sure. And then I want this longer strip, this wider strip, I should say. Um, hmm. I think I'll just use this one. So it's contrasting, but not too contrasting. <laughs> Cut off half an inch here because that's usually what those are. And then I'm just going to use that for the top and the bottom where it broke. Ooh, good, Jane. So far, and I'm going to do a strip up the front and the back too. Hi, Seven! Oh, um. Oh, dear. Sharon. Sharon. Did she get back, Sharon? Oh, there she is. I think she got back. Hi Sharon. Little pink whisper Sharon. All right, so all right, so these strips are just decorative and to cover container of ink. So, hold on. I'm looking. So I immediately put all my inks away the other day off my desk. Well, now they're not on my desk. 
ますね。はい。Alright, hold on. They kind of put them too far away from me. So I always want them near me. Oh, ouch. Mm -hmm. Not down there. Where's my box of apes? That's really weird. All right, I guess I'm not inking it right now. <laughs> I guess I'm not. All right, I'll have to use the Q-tip and do it later. Sorry. is on week's holiday. She tweeted today when I was talking about something. Yep. Alright, so one of these is going right over where I joined the two pieces of chipboard or cardstock I should say. Oh, I should have made sure it was in the right spot, though, first, shouldn't I have? Duh. Don't you dare tear that paper. Don't you dare. Good. And trim off. This other one, about the same distance there. All right, Margo. Try and get this about the same spot. Okay, so that's done. one go that I trimmed off. Um, where'd it 
go. Um, I don't know where it went. Lost it. So I'm just going to use this, I guess. I'm just going to... going to put these over the bottom and the top it'll just look like it's supposed to be there I'm just going to score it a little bit lightly I'm just wondering that's going to break too, so that's really not going to help the situation. Sorry, we'll have to use ink. No problem. Ink will save the day, or my tape. I've got tape. Okay, so now down along this front edge where the papers join, I was going to put something, but maybe I won't. Just kind of like that. I was going to put I was going to put the strip of music, but yeah, I think I'll just leave it for now. I can decide that later. All right. Okay, Yovana, no problem. Underneath, underneath what? Are you talking to me, Seven? <laughs> Margot's got pizza. She's taunting us with her pizza. All right. So, to adhere my binder rings, trying to fix the edges here because they're a little icky because it was very hard to trim down. I'm so, what did I miss? I missed something about underneath. I'm sorry, Joycey. All right, so. Uh-oh. Does the straight edge go to the right or to the left, you guys, with the binder? The D-rings goes to the left. 
Who has one? Oh my goodness, my, oh, now I know why I'm so much lower than other days, because my, hold on, hold on you guys, sorry, there we go, Whew. okay, my stick got moved, all right, Guys, with these types of binders that have the D-ring, I didn't look before I took it apart. Hi, Carol, Sunset Carol. With these D-ring ones, does the flat go to the right or towards the binding? I have it correct like this. The flat side goes to the right, okay. All right, so now the thing is, how am I gonna, okay. Someone's twittering me here. Oh. Uh-huh. All right, never mind. Oh, that was, that was Jonna laughing at something that someone tweeted. Read it. Okay. Sorry. All right, oh, Vicky. Oh, you thought it was the other way. Oh, no. Does anyone have a binder that they can check? <laughs> hmm. I wonder... You guys need to help me on this because I don't have a clue. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, I'm gonna... You thought it was the other way? With the flat side toward the binding. Right, Carol, it lets the, huh. Well, let's find a picture of it and Google it. Let's Google a picture. D-ring binder. And let's look for images. Yeah, the D-ring, the flat side goes to the right, like this. Yeah, flat side goes to the right. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alrighty, I found it. Back I come. All right. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Darcy. <laughs> After I Google it, gosh. Thanks, Sandy. All right. So flat side. Okay, and that's what I thought too. So that they would stack up straight. I just wanted to make sure. All right. So I need to make sure I also have it. Oh. Sorry, my wire's getting in my way. It came on taped again. Let's try and tape, get it taped back there again. There, maybe it won't get in my way now. All right, so I have to make sure that I give it enough space for it to close over. Okay. All right. That looks like it should work. So I think I'm actually going to measure it. Uh 
half inch in or so. Okay. All right. So I need to line the inside. All right. Now that I got that sorted. Gosh. And I only had two of those. I only have two of these, so I can't use it on the inside, but I'll probably use it on the binding on the inside. Just to, so I'll just use this chocolate brown on the inside. So, we need Oops, should put my uh, ruler the other way. So I want to start at the half inch, but so 10, so nine and a half inches by eleven and a quarter. Nine and a half by eleven and a quarter. Ah, hold on. Trying to get my ruler in the. Oh, it's taking up my space there. There we go. That's what. I'm trying to figure out Darcy <laughs> I might just use I don't know if my score tape will be strong enough or not I don't have any e6000 or anything like that because I can't use the stuff so um that's a good question To. Hold on. I've got just a second. I might actually have to put the binding, this thing on, my metal thing on first. Um, because I can always use, I can use, I can use, since I left it on the actual part from there, I can actually put. Um, a strip of paper through there and attach it on which means I have to do that before I put the other cover on because then that would help secure it and then I can do this later I think that's what I'm going to have to do. And I think I will use just some regular craft cardstock. See, if I could if I could have taken out these rivets, which I'm not going to, you could just use brads, heavy thick brads to put it back on. But I decided I wasn't gonna try and figure that out. So I think I'm just gonna put this through like this, and then I can just secure this whole thing down, then put my paper on top. But I need to cut this down to uh, 
9 inches. See if that goes through now. Okay, see, so that'll go through like that. I'm gonna only, only gonna have a half inch on that side, so because I don't want another, I don't want another thickness of of. Uh, paper on the spine. So I'm just going to have it out half an inch and then Okay, let's take another inch off this. Alright. Okie dokie, let's try this. So the first thing I'm going to do is put right at the half inch mark. I'm going to put some score tape. So it will score tape to the chipboard that's under there. Yeah, it is Sherry. I should have just covered over the plastic. But then I would have ripped the paper, which it did anyway. Yeah. Oh, that, I want the score tape down. So it sticks to the, but not until I'm ready for it to stick, I hope. So I've got score tape on the underside part of it, so it's going to, not so it sticks to the metal, but so it's going to stick to this uh, chipboard that's still already on it. I don't think. See, I should have planned ahead, but this is me on the run, messing up. Yeah, there is no bending, but I think it's stronger. Ah. Ah. Okay. All right. And a half by nine. No, it won't be heavy. It's just going to be my um, 
pages for my catalog for my stamps and stuff like that. So it won't be super heavy. We'll see. We will see. This is thinner too, so it won't show through as much on the uh, lining. All right, so putting it through this way. Wow, the nine inches of this one seems to be longer than the nine inches I measured the other way. Take a little more off here. Yeah. Oh, gee, you're stupid. Why didn't you put it through the other way? Duh. It would have been so much easier. Okay. All right. Tie back is on. Tie back is on. Okay, so now on the back of here, I'm going to make sure I use my really good humongous score tape here. down there so I don't waste it. No, I know it's not coming off. That's right.
So now I need to really burnish this down there like this. So it really sticks to the Tyvek. Okay. All right, taking the last of the backing off, and then it best go down the first time. <clears throat> or it's gonna go in the garbage. No, just kidding. Uh, but I might scream. All right. Straight sides to the right. Let's make sure it closes over. Seems to be perfect. I want to try, hold on. I want to try a page here. Oops, lost my, okay. Oh, hi kitty. Sharon. Ugh. Sorry, I just want to try something in it to make sure it's not too far out or whatever. Alright, so. Perfect. Do you all agree? Does it look good? I guess there's a leg because no one's answering, so I'm pushing this sucker down. It's going down and it's not coming back up. That's not going anywhere. It is not going anywhere. <clears throat> so now I can do the insides. All right. So I think I'm going to trim this and put it through. I'll see if how much of a headache it gives me, but I think that's what I'm going to try and do. So I want it to be. Oh no, that'll be too hard because it'll go through there, but it won't go through there. Mm, it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm gonna do nine and three quarters. 
that's what I said, right? Nine and three quarters by 11 and a quarter. Right. Okay, so nine and three quarters by 11, and I already cut one way, didn't I? Or did I? I had it in ready to cut. Yeah, I already cut 11 and a quarter. All right, so that's the 11 and a quarter side. So I need nine and three quarters. Excuse me. The front is just going to be, yeah, same thing, 9 and 3 quarters by 11. my lost my chat stop moving again thank you Carol oh yeah and I'm music scrap there kitty if you want to look me up you just have to request uh, that I'll follow you if you're kitty as long as I know if you're the same name I shall follow you All right, I think I want to put these on first. Yes, okay. All right. Get the tape on these first. Oh, <laughs> making lunches, huh, Sarah? Well, it must have been really interesting background. Lots of my talking to myself and stuff that I was doing. But I think I finally got it figured out. Thanks to some help from my friends. Thank you. Oh, it's under Elaine? Okay. a little piece here to this because I didn't get very close to the edge on this one. I don't want that edge flipping up on me.
Yep, kitty, we like to see each other's work. And but if you don't, you know, if you don't want to do a vlog, you can just tweet a picture on tweet. You can share something you've done. We we'll look at it that way too. And I, I've yet to update my blog in a while. I think I did once, well maybe twice since New Year's, but I'm bad about that. One way to lose your ah, glue stick, roll off the desk and land in the garbage can. Well, this gang is wonderful to talk to. We have lots of fun. We talk silly stuff. We talk serious stuff. Uh, some serious stuff. other out, give each other advice, make each other laugh, lots of fun stuff. It's nice to feel like you have someone nearby, although I do have some scrapbooking friends in the city. Luck, I'm very lucky that way. I have a group. down when it gets over to here so I want to get it down nice and flat and straight first then trim it trying to get it so it'll go under there, folks, but I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. I may have, I should have put it underneath. Why didn't I think of that? Now I know. Should have put it underneath. Before I stuck the other side down. It's been too smart though. It would have been too smart. Oh well I know what I'm gonna do. Oh, 
Ha ha. I think I've got a solution. A solution. You guys see what I'm doing? Hmm? Since I can't get it under, I'm going to put it over. I'm cheating. I'm not cheating. Huh. I'm just finding a creative alternative. So there. <laughs> cheating. Ain't no cheating in art. Okay, Carol. There. See? Beautiful. But then you'd have this ugly mess here, which I want which is what I was trying to cover. So that's trim this down. a little bit of glue on it. If I was going to do that, knew I was going to do that, I'd left, I would have left it longer, the brown part, but oh well, it's okay. And now, I need...
quarters. No, 11 and a quarter. By Do three and three quarters. going to do on this side is I'm just going to stick it as far under as I can and that's going to be perfect. And then I'm going to put it along the edge. Oops, I've got to trim off a little piece here. Oh, I got that covered already. All right, I want to do here. Yeah, Kitty, if you um, request to follow me on Twitter, then you can find everyone that I follow or do it for any of the ladies. And then we always tweet when someone's streaming. And then that way, someone always tweets. That's one way to find us. 
And then you can follow us as you find us on Ustream. I guess I'm going to have to put, all right, hold on, I didn't want it to stick yet because I have to kind of use it in there, but I guess it's, okay, it's all right. This is a little crooked, so I am going to put a strip along here just to make it look like it's straight. So, um, I think I'll just take the striped one. It's kind of cute. Oops. Oh, sorry if that made you guys. Uh, watching everyone too. I don't do a lot of art journaling yet. I'm I'm trying to work my way into it, but I watch I love watching everybody who has art journal anyway. Um even though I don't do it. No, I didn't, Kathy. I didn't. Uh, we had a storm day. We had a storm day. Woohoo! I was very excited. Woke up at six thirty, and everything was closed. It was still blowing, whiteouts and everything, right up until oh, after afternoon. Or calm down. Thank you. I know. But it's kind of a silent agreement, Kathy, that our snow days make up for the hour of duty we have to do every week. Well, no, not hour, 80 minutes. Well, the snow plows weren't even making any progress because it was so windy. The minute they got anything plowed off the roads, it blew right back in. So, really. Now, I don't know if the, I know the malls and everything closed yesterday at like 1 o'clock or something. Right? Actually, some of them didn't even open because they don't open till 11 anyway. But Ooh, really, Kitty? So what What part of Australia are, are, Australia, Australia are you in again? I don't know if you said. I didn't notice it. All right, so once again, this is just to cover up the fact that this didn't go on straight, so. I'm 
I'm gonna put that on straight or it would kind of defeat the purpose, wouldn't it? There we go. Woohoo! Yes, I did. <laughs> I started out, um, I was, I started out that I was just going to, um, I take the plastic off and reuse the binder, but then I couldn't even reuse it because it was, uh, um, all warped. I rescued it from school, so. <clears throat> Yeah, so it's going to be my catalog for my stamps, my punches. And all that fun stuff. Oh, good Jean. So smart. That's all right. I'm going to put... a stripe right down there because I well first of all because I tore the tape but just to even it off from over there and I think I might use this I think I'm gonna use this orange one here where is the other part of this paper, though? Oh, here it is. Well, I could use the keyboard. <laughs> no, I want to save that for something else. I don't want to use that. Joycey, you want me to use the swirl? You mean this one? The floral. Okie dokie, Joycey, just for you, you know. Only because it's you. Okay. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Wow, Kathy, cool. The staff gave you one. You're so well known. <laughs> Very nice. Wonderful. Yay. Oh, I didn't cut this down. Oops. All right, I'm going to have to do it with my craft knife. Or actually, I can do it this way. Now I have to keep, okay. 
After all that, then I cut too much off. Oh well, that's all right. I'll just do it in the middle. There. Ah! Whoops. There goes my... There! Ta-da! Now. I don't know if I'm going to use. We'll see. Put them in for now. Yeah, they're a little too bright, but that does the trick. to use this on the front it says life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass it's about learning to dance in the rain or I could just use this and then I can put that's what I'm gonna do Mini, oh, hmm. oh no I think I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna use this one because then I can put the title, stamp the title here. Stamps, dies, punches. Stamps, punches, dies. That is what I'm going to do. So I need to trim that out. This is by Kaiser Craft, and it's called Velvet Ensemble Collection. By Kaiser Craft. Uh, Velvet Ensemble. That's what the cup front cover is as well. I think I need to turn it this way so I can see this edge. Now, I really would like to have hmm. I think it needs to be batted. I 
if I have any charcoal color paper. Let me look. No, I'm not going to look because I can't. Uh, let me see. Kind of nice. It brings in the uh, binding color in another spot. So what I'm gonna do. Just want a sliver of the blue showing. Just enough. Set it off oh, from the page. Less than that. I just have like a sixteenth of an inch that I want to set off. I'm going to stamp it first, so which means I've got to go find my just a smidgen. Okay. Right, so I have to go get my favorite alphabet stamp. I'm going to put you all on mute again while I move my cart that's behind me out of my way. Sherry, am I done yet? What do you mean? <gasps> what? I'll be right back. Got to look for my stamps and my ink pads. Be right back. Putting you on mute.
Okay, I'm back. All right. So, oh, get my feet back up here. Oh, I couldn't find my distressings. My whole thing of distressings. Don't know where it is. Probably got kicked under my desk somewhere. But I found my chestnut roan, so all is good with the world. So, there's a T. Stamps, dies, and. Whoops. What are you doing, kitty? Stamps, dies, punches. Okay. So, stamps, dies, punches. I'm looking for the letters. Lowercase p as well. There's an A. There's my capital S. A small s. U. Need an M. There's an M. Need N. sure all my letters are here so there's H looking for the capital S and the capital no looking for capital D hmm I don't see a capital D anywhere huh it should be here oh there it is look right in front of me okay so S T A M E. Oh, I need the lowercase p. Stamps, dies, punches, p u n c h and then e s. Okay, I've got all the letters I need. Jan. Hi, Mr. Bear. Hope everything's going great. All right, let's do punches first since it's going to be in the middle. Maybe it's going to go on the top. All right. So, Uh, did not stamp very well. I think maybe I 
I should have used a darker ink. I don't know if I'll get right over top of it or not, but I'll try. If I mess it up, I can always put it on other paper and stick it on. Okay, let's try this again. You guys see? I'm not going straight at all, so I'm going to go crooked on purpose. Punches. I don't know why I started at the end. I thought I needed more space than that. Eh, who cares? I'll put a little thingy there. Punches, stamps. You get to go home this coming weekend. <gasps> Ooh. Yay, Jan. Oh. Hi, John. Oh, good. And everything's sorted out with his uh, sugar levels and everything, Jan. Oh, almost forgot to put the eye in there. I would have lost Leave the eye. Actually, I think maybe. Let's 
a little too big. I need to put something right there. I found these at Michael's for like 70% off or whatever. They were like jewelry findings, but I think I'm just going to stick it right there. Who knows? And I'll get to try it my metal glue here. Just a shape. Stick it down. Yes. Oh, sure, Vicky. I'm almost done. This is just the label going on the front. I'll take these ugly things out because I'm not going to use these after all. I'm going to make dividers. So there's the inside. And the outside. Binder. Oh, now that I have... Now that I have my ink, I can fix up my edges. Sorry, just cutting a piece of sponge here. Yep. Now it's not to store stamps, it's catalog of my stamps, my dies, and so the stamps aren't actually going to be here. I'll show you in case you haven't seen. I'll show you how I'm doing my stamps. This is just for the catalog. Well, I have to actually think I have to actually put the stamp pad right to the binder because there's lots of white showing through and I just need to get it all covered. I gotta get my glue out too to fix that some. Once this ink dries. Okay. So. This. Is going on the front. break. It took me all that time, Vicki. No break. 
I had to adjust as I was going. <laughs> yes, I did get up and try and get stuff. Yes, I did. Famous for putting stuff down. Okay. There. There. Now I can rub it. Okay, so there we go. Binder. Now, for those of you who haven't seen yet how I decided I'm doing my stamps, what I've done is, oh, hold on, it's pretty heavy container. Oh. Hold on. I have to turn around and get it with both hands. Okay. My ah. baby carrots are still there. Oops. Of course, I found this set after. I thought I finished all my sentiments. All right, so um, I have my extra stuff in here too. Hold on. All right. All right. Okay. So what I have are these bins that I got at the dollar store. All right. <clears throat> and they'll hold these either this way or they'll hold them, they'll either hold them that way or this way, sideways, okay? Now, so what I've done, let me show you. this magazine board, right, that I got at Zeller's, um, 100 sheets for 10 bucks. I may go back and see if mine has any. Our Zeller's is closing the end of February, so I might run over. They probably don't have any. The store is probably half empty, but I'm going to go see. But it's about the thickness of cereal box, so it's thin thin as far as thickness, but it's sturdier. I mean, it can still bend. It's not as sturdy, but I think it's kind of what they do storyboards or mock-ups or whatever for magazines or cartoon. Yes, it's all been recorded.
singular. Yep, it's been recorded, Vicki, the whole thing. So what I've done is I I've taken, now I still have two, I still have to do my um, backgrounds and border stamps and my elements, which I have a huge amount of elements. Elements is just going to be my flowers and all the other stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else. Um, so I took them and I attached them, the, the rubber and stuff, they sort of clung to these because they're shiny, but not really well. So I took the back of their packaging or created back with um, stuff I have, with um, acrylic that I have. And I double side taped it to the big magazine board and then put the stamps on. Now in this case, I stuck the words because the words are there. It's a... Oh, sorry, it opens this way. It's a set that had a, it had a little flip thing, so I just left that there. This one, of course, the, it just comes off. Okay. And then I put them in a page protector. Now, any of the ones that are red rubber like this, that I can't see what they are, I stamped them and I stuck the paper inside, okay, and then I know, I know where each stamp is, so I can find it. And then I put these in here. Now, here's the thing. I just, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to decide. Okay, never mind, I'll try, I'll do that. I'll say that in a second. But then I also stamped it on a page like this. All right. And this is what's going to go in my catalog. All right. These will eventually go in my catalog for my stamps. So I have to flip through them. But I'm not going to put them in my, in my uh, catalog yet because whatever I label this page as, um, like these are sentiments, words and sentiments, this might be one. So I'm going to have to label this words and sentiments one. And this would be words and sentiments two. So that when I find in my calendar, I can find what bucket they're in. So right now I still have these catalog pages with my stamps until I get the labels all made. Now, the other thing is, the other day I found these. Now, the other reason I think this would be cool is even though these are going to stay in the bin, let's say I'm going on a crop and I'm going to make some Mother Day card, Mother's Day cards, I can take this with me. I can throw it in a binder or throw it in my bag. I can take it with me, right? But... The other thing I was thinking, though, oops, I got those mixed up. Now, anyway, whatever. I found these at the dollar store, so it would be easier to get the stamp sets in and out of here, right? These are all rubber mount. Um... So the only problem with this, though, is I'm worried if the stamps fall off. See, it's easier. Oh, hold on. I've got to stop my recording limit. Okay, I have to say goodbye. This is the end of my three hours. Just goodbye on the recording. I'm going to stay live for a couple of minutes. Thanks for watching.